Hello and welcome to the Merle and Locke podcast. I'm Merle. And I'm Locke. Set sail and low expectations for everything nerd, accompanied by a healthy, albeit shameful, healthy, to pointless banter, lack of focus, and quest to acquire knowledge. And more. And more. I know we said we weren't going to do it for a while. We lied. We, yeah, <laughs> we're liars. Um, Big phonies. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about World of Warcraft again. Yay. Yay. It's the anniversary. They're having their anniversary currently. They made some pretty big announcements for their roadmap into the future, into next year. I watched it yesterday. I told Locke, I was like, dude, check this out. You have to watch it. You didn't just tell me about it. You had a stroke halfway through telling me about it. <laughs> Texting me, just, you, you bet, you check it. Just an amalgamation of letters. Some of them, I was wondering if they were even words. No, no. I said, dude, you <laughs> got to watch the wow and the first of me. Yeah. Or something like that. Something like and, that. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I was pretty excited. I was I was very excited uh, <laughs> for the announcements. I said to Locke, I was like, you got to check it out. You got to see what's upcoming and we got to talk about it on, on the podcast. So here we are. We're talking about it. And just as he tells me about it, I pop it open. Once I get on my break, I check this out. And then a notification popped up on my phone that spoiled the video and Merle's excitement. <laughs> so I, I, I already knew what was in store. So when I saw it, I wasn't as, yay! I was still pretty excited, but I wasn't as, whoa. I feel like with this, the announcement that happened, like so many things that we have talked about uh, over the last few episodes that we've done pertaining to World of Warcraft specifically, they hit those marks that we we have been talking about, and I was pretty pumped. Yep, they listened to us. We did it. <laughs> They've been watching our podcast, and they're like, these guys, these guys know what's up. So we're going to listen to them, and we're going to answer their prayers specifically. Totally. Just all us. You're welcome. <laughs> Let's not acknowledge the thousands of other World of Warcraft specific channels that complain about this stuff on the regular or suggest these things on the regular. No, it was us. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not that there are other people out there with like minds. Yeah. <laughs> not at all. So you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. All right. Uh <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have update 11.0.7 coming out this winter. They have some new content coming in. First of all, we have a new area. It's called the Siren Isle. What that entails exactly, not entirely certain, but it, it kind of reminds me of, you know, in Battle for Azeroth, one of the initial places that you get to, you fight all these sirens that have made all the crashed ship crew. It's like luring them into their dens and whatnot. You mean where we murdered Flynn's love of his life? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah, okay. That area. That's what it reminds me of. So I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be similar to that. I'm also guessing that it's it might be in Kazalgar somewhere. I don't know for sure. It sounds like it's going to be off the coast somewhere near Kazalgar or the Isle of Dorne. So they're going to uh, get their tide sages or whatever, and they're going to move the mist. We're going to get into the whole thing with uh, the tide sages and whatnot, because I know we had that idea when we were talking about Kazalgar and what happened to... I was pretty curious about what Jaina and Thrall were up to the entirety of that expansion when they came back with the entirety of the Horde and Alliance forces. I was saying, I'm guessing that they utilized the Tide Sages to be able to like clear the fog and the storms and whatnot to be able to make their way back to Kazalgar because initially we were just teleported. I'm guessing it has something to do with that. And they did just release the story of what Thrall... And Jay and I were up to. I haven't read it yet, but it's on the WoW website. I think they have what's what's the guy's name? The guy that voices Thrall and a bunch of other characters. Chris Metzen. He reads the story. So I'm excited to listen to that at some point so I can actually 
get an idea of what Thrawn and Jaina were doing, the entirety of that expansion. I'm guessing something about that leads into this Sire Nile. I mean, that's just speculation. I don't know for certain, but we'll see. So there's a whole story and quests that are associated with that. Also, since uh, this update is going to be coming out this winter, they're also doing some new stuff for the Wintervale celebration. Don't know what that consists of, what we should expect, but apparently there's just going to be some new stuff to keep you entertained during the the Christmas season. More gifts. Uh, Yeah, I have no idea. (laughs) By Santa, uh, whatever his name is again. Uh. Oh, God, what is his name? (laughs) I I can't remember what they call Santa. God, Great Father Winter. Grandfather Winter. Grandfather Winter. Same thing. It means the same thing. (laughs) Right. (laughs) And then after after that, starting early next year, I I guess it's when 11.1 comes out, we're going to be getting a new zone. Something that we also talked about when we were talking about the Horonir that we found in Azkahet. Uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, they have all these variations of all these different races, <laughs> but we never get anything about the goblins. Now they're coming out with Undermine. Finally, we're getting something about the goblins. They were saying during the presentation that we're going to learn a lot more about where they come from and more about the cartels. Just learn more about them, which which will be awesome because we honestly, we don't know a whole lot about goblins. We've never gotten that much about goblins. We, we know their whole starter campaign that they were once enslaved by Zindalari and then they snorted a whole bunch of that Kajamite, whatever it's called, that ore that they were harvesting and they got super smart. That's, I mean, it's questionable to say smart, but you know. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we, we can get into this later about the goblins specifically and what we know about them because we were talking about whether or not we should do a lore episode about what we know about the goblins, which would kind of help things along in preparation for Undermine. They're also saying that you can ally with your choice of the cartels. Yeah, which is like, what, four different choices? Well, I think it's the th- main three. I thought I saw four, like Venture Company. Yeah, Steam Weedle, Venture Company, Bilgewater. What was the other one? Oh, jeez, I don't remember the other one. <laughs> Wish I would have wrote it down. Yeah, should have wrote it down. I don't remember. But um, anyway, you you get to ally with one of them. I'm supposing that gives it some replay value, you know, with your other characters to ally with each of the different cartels. Or if it's going to be like a daily thing, like it is in Ashkahet, when you can al- not necessarily ally, but you can prioritize which of the leaders faction type thing where you can just ally with them for the week, do all their dailies, get access to their dailies and whatnot for the entire week and rep grind as it were. So we'll see how that works out. And then with that undermine update, they also have a new way of transportation as well that I'm really excited for this new vehicle thing that they're going to be having, because, you know, when you do the, the starter zone, in Kazan with the goblins, like everybody's running around in these really cool cars and what have you. And they're going to have something similar to that where you'll have these cool cars, but you can also upgrade the cars and you can customize them however you want, where you, if you want to like fishtail more, you want to be like a, you know, drift around on the streets and what have you, or if you want to prioritize speed, it's really cool that they're putting that in and i'm really excited for it i think it's going to uh, set a headway for like instead of the sky racing they're gonna have races on the ground oh that'd be awesome that's my hypothesis we'll we'll see where that turns out that's exciting we also want to talk about something that we've become savvy to recently where in preparation of the 11.0.7 update this winter some people were saying about a particular mount that's going to become exciting accessible to us called the Shadow of Doubt. If you're familiar with the horrific visions 
or not even necessarily that in this new expansion there's these shadow creatures that you run into and if you talk to them it gives you like this notification saying like oh, it looks into your soul or whatever and then it has like a shadow of you following you the mount is pretty similar to those creatures we got a glimpse of it you can look into it yourself just google it up you'll find it there's a series of achievements that you have to get in order to get access to that mount the achievement is you shall not pass that consists of many achievements in which you have to collect 16 as a matter of effect <laughs> which we're currently trying to grind out it, in the ringing deeps you have notable machines not so quick fix rock to sleep all the slimes i love in hollow fall you got lost and found the missing links biblio archivist children's entertainer meryl Dorminus, and as Cahet, you have worm theory the unseeming bookworm itsy bitsy spider smelling history and dornegal you got flat earthen and a star of dorn so it's a lot of a lot of achievements to go through, a lot of achievements to collect in order to get access to this mount, but that's what you have to look forward to, what you can do to prepare for this new update so you can get that mount right away as soon as it hits. In the spring of next year, we have some new content. We have the Horrific Visions Revisited, which we didn't get many details on that, but we remember the Horrific Visions from Battle for Azeroth. You'd have to wear your cape and have your Heart of Azeroth and go through this timed dungeon-y type thing. We have that to look forward to, which is something that we keep revisiting every now and again because we never maxed it out. But now we're actually having an excuse to, you know, kind of <laughs> grind it out and finish it up. I guess. Also in the spring, we have more story quests, new content, Nightfall, whatever that is. I'm not entirely certain. I don't know <laughs> if you have any idea of what that is. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not sure what it is. I guess we'll find out. We also have, during the summer, a new dungeon, a new raid. I'm supposing that... Those will be associated with Undermine, perhaps. I know at the, with the release of Undermine, there'll be a, a raid and a dungeon that comes with it. And I guess there's more in the summer that they'll be releasing. We'll have to keep you updated on that. At the end of summer into autumn, there's the new expansion reveal. With the new expansion, this was the big thing that we were super excited about that we had mentioned before i don't know how long ago that we mentioned it that we were wishing for that we have in so many other mmos that we have played it's player housing Woo! i get my own house and i can mount my enemies on the wall this is something really exciting that we've been hoping and praying for like so many of the world of warcraft community have have been asking for this for the longest time because who doesn't love having your own house in an mmo that you can decorate yourself and then you can invite your buddies over to come check it out to see what you got going on and ha have a place to like hang out and chill that no one else has access to unless you invite them i loved it in eso i put a lot of time into the player housing in eso which i absolutely loved all the like achievements that you could get to get particular furniture items to be able to put up in your house and now we're going to have it in world of warcraft god that's exciting we're going to spend so much of our time back in the game again <laughs> just trying to collect whatever goodies that they throw at us what i'm hoping for is that they have those achievement associated things where it's like even past achievements right Achievements that have already been out and you get access to these things with these achievements that you've already accomplished. And that would give people a much better excuse to go back, do some of that time walking, more excuses to go do that kind of stuff and go back to prior expansions to get some of these achievements so that you can decorate your house more. I know they're going to be doing furniture item bundles and stuff in store that you can buy most likely. And that's awesome. But I really hope that they do achievement associated things as well. Unfortunately, we do have to wait probably around winter of next year. I think it'll be coming out. Don't know when the expansion is actually coming out. I just know the reveal is slotted for end of summer, beginning of autumn. I'm guessing the player housing will become available around winter next year. That's what the roadmap looks like, which should be available on the World of Warcraft website if you want to check it out for yourself. And you can kind of break down everything that's in there, get a better idea of what to expect. I think we hit the main notes. A lot to be excited about over the next year. I myself, I... 
<laughs> oh man, I'm pumped. I'm absolutely <laughs> pumped for it. I, <laughs> uh, just having a nerdgasm. Absolutely. And I really do want to do a breakdown of the goblin lore, what we know so far. I know there's there's stuff out there that that talks about it, but maybe if we could find a fun twist to kind of make it interesting or breathe new life into it, get a little breakdown on the chaos that is the goblin lore in which we know so far in World of Warcraft. Yes, admittedly, it is a bunch of nonsense for the most part. They're just insanity incarnate. And the whole starting campaign for goblins, it's just insanity. Not a whole lot makes sense. It's just go here, blow up that, betray time and again. Hey, it was exciting. It was exciting at that time. You were like, I get to blow stuff up? Hell yeah. It is very exciting. They're a fun race. I love them. I'm excited to delve more into their lore once Undermine comes out and see a little bit more about them. Just learn a little bit more. That's that's what I want. I know they have a new book that was just released or written by Chris Metzen, I'm pretty sure. I think so. It's up currently on the World of Warcraft website. You can just download the PDF if you want, and you can read it yourself. I read through it. It's a fun, fun little story. It's not as chaotic as what we're used to, but it gives you kind of an idea of the priorities being set, power struggles and whatnot. It gives you an idea of that. And their evolving nature, I guess, as they try to fit in with the Horde, you get a good idea of that. Gazlo takes the lead. He's going down to visit a mine with, uh, oh gosh, I wish I remembered the guy's name. Gallywinks? No, not not Gallywinks. Not Nobbin, Nobbin, Faber, Faber. Noggin Fogger. Noggin Fogger. That's the name. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, I, could, I, could. I got so much useless knowledge. To- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I could not for the life of me remember his name. But yeah, it's like a, it's a whole exchange between Gaslow and Noggin Fogger. It's, it's a great story. I loved it. It's only like 30 pages long, I think. Uh, a really quick read. But if you're interested, go check that out. Let us know in the comments if you're interested in a little lore breakdown of what we know. We could definitely do that. I mean, we're probably going to do it anyway, whether yeah, people request probably. it or not. Yeah, because, yeah, you know, more <laughs> World of Warcraft, more good. Thank you for joining us on the Marlin Off podcast. If you enjoyed this banter, please consider becoming a patron by going to patreon.com slash Merle and Locke or simply follow the link in the description. Thank you.